Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before you begin with your love reading Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Leo. at the bottom of the deck we have the page of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so this does show a card of someone who is catching feelings for you someone who's very infatuated by you um, this person could be seeing you through the eyes of idealism um, but they're very impressed by you this person is really putting you on a bit of a pedestal they are seeing you as someone who's beautiful on the inside and the outside Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Emperor, Aries energy. The Seven of Swords, Air energy. And we have the Queen of Wands, Fire energy. So the Queen of Wands being there, this person is definitely seeing you as someone who's very confident, very attractive and alluring. Um, you are showing up in your, your elements and this person likes you for who you are. Um, this is someone who, you know, is very drawn towards you. They are also seeing you as very desirable though. And they can view you as someone who may have a lot of options. You know, there's that energy where they see you as, you know, someone who's really um, admired by many and sought after. So we do have the Seven of Swords, which is a card of, um, you know, kind of wearing a bit of a mask. Um, this can be someone who's being very strategic. They move in silence. Um, they, they haven't really revealed everything to you thus far. And um, this is someone who's trying to be careful with how they move forward with you. So there is an energy of this person may have not yet revealed their feelings to you or the fact that they're falling for you. They haven't yet made that known to you. Um, but with the emperor there, there is a desire to actually do that. There's a desire to take initiative, to make something more evident to you, to bring something to the light. Because this person, you know, a lot of feelings that have been kept to themselves. Um, but there's a readiness to uh, put themselves out there. So let's clarify these cards, Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an offer. This is, again, we're seeing, I'm seeing someone who's coming towards you to confess something to you. They want to give you the truth, um, and it's trustworthy. There is an energy here of wanting to tell you something that can lead to a new beginning for you guys. Um, this is someone who sees you as someone they want to offer commitment to. They want stability with you. They want a relationship with you. They want to take things to the next level with you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Two of Wands, Fire Energy. The Justice card, Libra Energy. And we have the Ace of Swords, Air Energy. So definitely there's a truth this person wants to give to you. They want to open up to you and they want to speak their heart to you. They want to give you clarity. This person wants a partnership with you um, and they are ready to make that known to you. They're ready to initiate that. They've been thinking about this a long time. The Two of Wands is a planning energy, thinking about how to approach you. They could be strategizing their next move here. But this person really wants to offer you, um, you know, a, a commitment. They want to offer you a partnership and um, they, they want to um, open up lines of communication with you. Okay, so definitely someone here is getting ready to, you know, initiate more with you. 
Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Leo. Okay, so the card says expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So definitely someone is ready to change the dynamic here. They're ready to uh, confess something here to you, especially around their feelings and their desires with you. They're ready to confess their intentions um, and speak their truth to you. They are ready to change this connection in terms of leveling it up in some way. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Leo. Okay, so the card says release your ex the time has come to clear your energy okay so definitely someone here um they, they it's i'm seeing this more so as them moving on from the seven of swords energy um they've been doing things one way there is an energy of um holding themselves back because of certain expectations or fears or you know doubts um, but this person, I'm seeing someone who is releasing those expectations so that they can allow a certain level of change to occur in this connection. Um, they're making positive changes so that they can allow a new beginning to happen here with you. Um, this can also be that this person did have some past attachments that were holding them back from really being able to move forward with you. They have released those. They are releasing any ties to the past or to a past situation or a past mindset. There is an energy of um, making changes. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Leo. So we have strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Okay, so definitely I am seeing here someone who wasn't able to really pursue a connection with you. You know, in a like they couldn't move forward with you in a serious way, so they had to resort to this page of cups energy where they were just having feelings, contemplating, daydreaming, wishing, hoping, and this can be because they were still having some sort of tie to an ex, um, or there's something here about having to clear their energy first. Um, and this could be something they didn't tell you because the seven of swords can be quite a secretive energy They could have kept that from you But it's like they are releasing something that has been holding them back from moving forward with you and it's been Difficult, you know, it's like this person has had to make necessary changes in order to pursue you But they have made those changes because they're seeing you as worth it They're seeing you as worth making the changes for they see you as worth releasing other things in order to be with you Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Leo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Leo. Bye, Leo.